Today we're going to be talking about a popular e-commerce website called timu.com. One of the main questions I've been hearing a lot lately is Timu legit? Whether it's a random news article on the internet or just a random friend posting on Facebook asking the question, I can tell you for sure, in my opinion, that I believe Timu is definitely. So what I'm going to be covering is basically a product review. Were these products worth it? Do they look to be of high quality? We're going to be doing an opening of a new order that I just got and just an overall discussion and review on these products and timu.com. Okay, so far, every single package that I've ordered on Timu has came exactly like this. Not very protected, I'd say, just a really thin, you know, identical Timu bag. And it doesn't matter how many things you order, they will stuff as much stuff into one package as humanly possible. Like, it's crazy. When I ordered all these um, smartwatches and all these um, phone holders or whatever, selfie sticks, they like packed them all in one bag. I was kind of confused at first. I was like, "There, this can't be my entire order. And sure enough, it was all there. So I tried to order you know, a, a small range of things so that way we could see, check the quality, and that way I can show you what to expect for different things. So, first things first, I bought a little car charger. This thing was like $2, and it's a, um, you have the fast charge and then the USB-C type charger. So, I'll have to test that out, but, you know, as far as, Everything I've seen on Timu so far, it's all been a surprisingly nice quality. Um, I mean, look at that. For like $2, you literally cannot beat that. Um, I bought these. So these are to hold memory cards and stuff. They're for memory card storage. Um, let's see what it looks like. Wow, that's, I bought this for like six bucks. I mean, you really can't beat that. So you put your SD cards right there, your micro SDs and then your SDs there. I mean, even the way that shuts is really nice. You can see, yeah, like six bucks. I mean, I'm sure if you went to Amazon, it would be like 20. So I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and I saw these phone cases and I was kind of curious. I bought these phone cases for like $2 a piece. I mean, look at that. This one has a little stand right there and has a camera cover, which I think is pretty cool. Um, this one has a clip for your belt. Doesn't come with like a holster, but you can clip it inside of your pocket. I mean, $2, you literally Literally cannot beat that with a stick. That's insane. I also bought this micro SD card, a 256 gigabyte tech last is the name of it. Has all the right specs for, you know, what the good modern day micro SD cards have. Um, $9.99. You can't, literally cannot beat that. Um, going backwards a little bit here so i also bought these last week on an order i bought five of these and then 128 gigabyte from kodak i mean these were like two dollars and 98 cents a piece which is ridiculous and then i bought the 128 for like five bucks i mean look at that ultra performance up reads up to 100 megabytes per second 4k ultra I mean, come on. It doesn't get any better than that. I also bought this. It's a USB extender. So if you need an extension for like your keyboard or something similar, you can plug it in. And it's a USB 3.0 compatible. 
and it's braided. Um, that one was like four bucks. This I bought to put on our sink because we only have a fixed spout for our sink. So you can put this on the end and extend it and make your, you know, water flow point wherever you want. This was like a dollar ninety seven. The thing about this though, it looked a lot bigger on the actual website. So I was kind of disappointed when I saw how small it was. I mean, it's the size of a finger basically in length. So I thought it was kind of bigger. So I guess there's that, you know, some things are smaller than they actually appear to be. This is another micro S or micro SD storage case or whatever, a memory card storage case. The brand is Desiantal. This one looks really cool. And it comes with a little um, clip if you want to carry it on your book bag or whatever. Look at that. It comes with a USB ejection pin. This, I can't quite remember. It might have been in the 7 to $8 range, but listen to it. You can hear it shut. That's nice. That's awesome right there. I feel really good about that purchase for sure. So, quality. I mean, the quality feels amazing on everything basically so far. I also bought these. These are USB-C extensions. So, like, if you want to plug this into your... Android phone and then plug in a um, memory card reader. Like for instance, I got these because my case on my phone doesn't allow the micro SD reader to plug in without taking it off. So I just got these. These were like $1.97 a piece. Absolutely insane. And they're USB 3.1 compatible. Doesn't get any better than that. I also bought this, a little sink spout thing. So you put this on your sink, and then like if you're brushing your teeth and you wanna point this upward towards your mouth, you can do that. So like, instead of putting your neck all the way down in the sink, you can kinda spray it up so you don't have to bend your neck. This was like $1.97, ridiculous, right? I mean, it's cheap plastic, but whatever. Um, it's still a cool little product. Another product I bought, let's check this out. So this is a, just another memory card holder. You can put your little cards in there and then write what each one is. So it feels it feels pretty nice. It feels like it's good quality. So can't complain there that, I mean, look at it. How nice that looks. Zips, everything. This was also like $1.97. I mean... You just you can't beat it. This is the little wrapper there. So another thing I bought, this was like two dollars fifty cents USB 3.1 type C card reader. So you can put a memory card right in there and then plug it in your phone and then transfer all of your media on there. So that's pretty awesome. That's all I bought in this order. That order was literally like 30 bucks maybe. And then shipping is always free. All right, so now on to some of the negative parts about the website and Timu in general. You've heard me say all the good stuff, so now I gotta kind of give my honest opinion. Their marketing is really, really aggressive. I mean, they kind of emails they send is just out of this world like if you leave something in your cart they'll obsessively send you emails um it's extremely extremely aggressive like i had to unsubscribe to their notification emails because it was just way too much and it's kind of weird because like when you first sign up for the app they always try to get you to, like, they try to give you these free promotions and they make you spin this wheel. And, like, I forgot to tell you guys. So, on my first order, which was like 
all these watches here. So this watch, this watch, another one here, another one here, another one here, and one more that I gave to my brother. Out of all these watches, I got like those free and I paid for two. Like they do these crazy things where they make you spin this wheel and then if you pick like $20 worth of stuff, you get like $80 worth of stuff for free, but you have to do it in a certain time limit. And they always do these little clocks like they'll say stuff is like free shipping and they'll have this little countdown timer. And then they'll make it seem like, you know, it's really important, like you got to do it. And then the timer will go out and then it'll just restart, you know, so they're just like messing with your head. But that's the kind of stuff that reels people in, you know, it's it's pretty crazy. And also one thing that really made me mad about Timu was they do these little games where like if you do these things, you can get this really cool free product product like they had a car stereo, I think. And it's it's called like fish feeding the fish. And it's this game that, you know, starts out to be really easy at first and then um you know you, you're like oh cool i'm gonna get this free product for playing this game it's just playing a game and you have to like refer people and feed the fish and then refer people and do all this stuff and the game gradually gets so hard that it's literally impossible to pass unless you're like someone who has absolutely nothing to, to do and can sit there all day and play this game like it made me so mad because I did so much for them and for them to like make it so hard for it to pass it was just it was extremely frustrating like I spent hours on that game because I thought I was going to get this product that was worth like a hundred bucks and sure enough like the game got so difficult that it was just impossible to pass it didn't make any more sense to waste any more time on it, you know? So I did actually have some issues with this camera. I tried hooking it up and I couldn't get the app to connect. I couldn't get it to do anything. So, you know, out of all the products that I've bought and tried so far, this one here, I've still not been able to use. I'm pretty sure I got this for free. Like I said, my first two orders, I believe, I got so much stuff for free. It was like, it was like a rush. It was addicting. Like my second order was all these, um, phone selfie sticks. And I'm actually using one right now. And it's, it's amazing. It even has this little button. So where you can remotely like use it. And this one here has like a little flash on it. I think for all these, plus I think I sold a couple and I gave a couple away. I paid like 30 or 40 bucks for like eight of them or nine of them. It was, it was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I, I, at the time I was using them a lot and I was doing a lot of videos and stuff, which you guys should check out by the way. <laughs> um, so I was really into them and they're really nice. Some of them are aluminum. So, you know, overall, I would definitely say Timu is a really good website for sure. I mean, just because something is cheap doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's just that sometimes when something's cheap, it's just you get what you pay for. And in most of the cases here, I feel like I'm getting over on them, to be honest. I mean, I feel like I'm getting a better deal <laughs> that I don't know it's just hard to explain like even my dad my dad is actually the one who recommended me to this website and he was showing me he's like man be careful like you'll go on there and you'll be on that website for hours like like you'll just be on there and you'll look at the clock and you're like oh shit like I've been scrolling for an hour already like it's like it's almost like a form of social media where you just get addicted and you start seeing all this cool stuff and then they start recommending more and more and more. And then when you look at something, they'll recommend better versions of it. And it's just like this ever 
ending like loophole or wormhole, whatever, of all these endless things. And, you know, Timu's kind of like, I guess, Amazon because it's not just Timu selling these products. It's other people like me and you who have stores and they can sell their products on there. But I definitely think there's a... Um, you know, a requirement for the type of stuff that can be sold and the prices. Because I don't really think I've ever seen anything on Timu that's been like seriously overpriced or ridiculously priced. The only thing ridiculous about the prices are how low they are. <laughs> like, like these memory cards, these are so cool to have. Like 64 gigabytes for two or three bucks. I mean, dude, you can sell these like... That's crazy. This was one of my favorite products here. The um, Ultra 8 watch. I guess it resembles like Apple in sort of a way. It's kind of like an Apple watch. Um, it's super official. It comes with a wireless charger. Everything. I mean, the uh, watch selection they have on there is just... It's out of this world. It's crazy. So... Like I said, um, Timu's very aggressive in their marketing schemes. They're going to suck you in. It's very addictive. They're going to send you a ton of emails, tons of promotions. I would suggest like turn your notifications off right away. They send you so many like free this, free that, spin this wheel, do this, do that. It's like at one point it's cool. But then once you do it a couple times, it becomes a bit like too much and it's just like whoa like step back you know <laughs> it's like having this like crazy stalker after you that like, buy my stuff <laughs> but um it's super legit i mean as you can see all this stuff here that i bought um i've never really had an issue with anything um everything is super good um check it out you know, also check my page out. You know, I, I know I do mostly motorcycle stuff and car related stuff, but I also do tech reviews because uh, whether we like it or not, tech is involved with everything, you know. So the reason I have all this memory stuff is for all my recording, um, all my motor vlogs, all my all of my stuff. So anyways, um, I hope this video helped you. Uh, please let me know, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, let me know if you had a good experience, bad experience, leave a like, please, if you watched this video this far, um, even subscribe, you know, I'm gonna post a lot more videos, and um, yeah, I really appreciate you watching, and I hope this video helped you out in some way, have a good one, peace.